Hi guys, welcome to a little story time. I got my soup cup here and I am gonna just talk to you guys about something that really made me super body conscious for a very long time and um, I felt like maybe there's somebody out there that... <laughs> is going through what I went through. And um, so, and also be sure to like as you're coming into the video, share, um, comment, relate with me. Okay, so um, I really need to take these glasses off because that glare gets on my nerves. Anyway, so when I was a little girl, so, okay. I'm using this soup cup for the first time. And it has this little, like, I mean, do I take the lid? I, I need to take the lid off. Like, I need to be able to take the lid off so I can, like, sip. Um, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Hang on. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. I was like, what is going on with this soup thing? Because it's my first day having it. So um, actually, these are kind of nice. I, I I think they were like $3, 2 or $3. I can't remember at Walmart. And um, I bet this is good for people that like want to take it to work with them. Um, since I work from home, like I don't really need this uh the the lid and so i have the little cup here and i got me a spoon and a napkin just in case i need to use the spoon because you know it is a little warm but anyways um i wanted to talk about my journey with my body conscious <laughs> or you know just being more um secure with myself because I have been very 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 um body conscious for way too long in my life and I feel like you know I'm I'm ready to start like appreciating and thinking that you know treating myself like I'm a sexy bitch because bitch I'm sexy <laughs> okay so Mm. Oh. progresso yes get you some get you some anyways um mm. i guess i don't need the spoon um if it was hotter i probably would i started developing when i was really really young <laughs> when by the time i was 13 there was 30 and older men hitting on me knowing that I look young as can be because I got another story time for another day about how people didn't think that I was actually a grown-up when I was and that was annoying anyways but like I started developing when I was about wearing bras training bras when I was about seven six seven eight somewhere around there by the time I was um 13 I was pretty big um shoot at that time I probably was a triple d <laughs> and I didn't even I, I was always buying the wrong bra so I didn't really know how big my boobs really were and Mm. 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 by the time that I was um 17 I got pregnant with my oldest daughter before that you know I was influenced by some Aaliyah and stuff and I used to be wearing my little um halter tops Ooh. I love them things. I was, oh my gosh. You know how she had that one where it wrapped around, crisscrossed around the stomach? Yeah, I had me one of them. Oh, I was so cute. <laughs> I, you couldn't tell me that then. I have boobies and a little bit of hips and ass. <laughs> but 
when I had my oldest daughter, I got pregnant with her at 17. And um, I had her two weeks after my 18th birthday. And at that time, I started having, I had all these stretch marks because my stomach, my torso is little. It still is little. And I got some angry fat that's still like there a little bit. But it's like, I, I don't know how to get rid of it. I'll be working out. I do. Um, but anyways, like I gave away all my, um, my halter tops after I had her, I had so many stretch marks and I'll show just a little bit right now. Um, yeah, but it's getting better. Now, I mean, these stretch marks really ain't going away. <laughs> I don't, I, unless I get that derma roller and all that stuff. And I might do a little challenge with myself eventually, but shoot, I still look good. I'm still a bad bitch. <laughs> That's how I feel. Finally, in my life. Because there was a time when I didn't feel that way. I was self-conscious after having my children because of the stretch marks. And then on top of that, after, and then my boobs got really, really big. Like I had to have, before I had my reduction, I had to have, um, they had to have been G's or H's, something like that. They, they, they was, they was out here. They was out here. Um, shoot. I could rest them on my knees. They were so fucking big. That's the truth. If I didn't have a brow on. And outside of pregnancy, I was like 115. All my fat was in my boobs. And so, I, um, you know how you at a disadvantage if you a big girl, a um, big booby girl, <laughs> at going and exercising. Certain things don't cover your cleavage very well. And sometimes if you trying to cover your cleavage you can't really get it covered certain shirts you can't wear only you know certain things only for little booby women <laughs> and um so i had to be a lot more conscious about that and i was a working mom um you know had a husband and kids um now i'm 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 single but at the time I was, um, I was married and, uh, had children and I was in college two years after, um, well, actually it was after I had my second daughter and that was when I was, um, 20. Yeah. 20. Mm-hmm. Um, 21, really, that's when I had my breast reduction. Um, it was, <laughs> you know, I always used to complain about my back hurt. My back would hurt. It would hurt so bad. Like, if you see a woman with some big boobies, help, <laughs> and help that person out. They probably got some back problems, Okay. Probably got some bad problems. Grab something for them. Help them. Help them if they need help with something. Okay, but not just because they got. <laughs> no, don't make yourself seem like a <laughs> a stalker or anything. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so like for real, uh, I went to one of my coworkers was like, hey. Why don't you just at least see how much it would cost so then that you could eventually 
get it done once you have the money. And I said, yeah, okay. So I called a place and then I went to the place and um, they, <laughs> they wanted to bless me. So I got it done for free. I did. And I was on medical at the time. I had just had my daughter, um, like the state sooner care or whatever. Um, and ended up getting pregnant again with my third daughter and final child. Okay. I don't know if I'm trying to have no more children. I mean, gosh, anyways. Um, but yes, (laughs) y'all, they, I had, I got a breast reduction for free when I went, um, to the doctor, he was like, um, how big do you want them? I said, well, I don't want them this big no more. I think I want, uh, I wanted to go down to like a B cup. <laughs> no, right. And he said, you got to at least have a C. And I was like, oh, okay. 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 And so, um, and shoot, my boobs before were pretty much as big as, um, I mean, my areolas were pretty much as almost the whole size of my breasts at this point. Um, but mm, 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 mm. This stuff stays so good. Let me get it right while it's hot. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. Um, but. I remember they had me count down and I was knocked out. I woke up and I had these sutures on my, my breasts and, um, on my nipples. And I had to wear those for about six weeks. Um, I could tell that my back seemed so much more relaxed. They took six pounds from me, y'all. They took a whole freaking baby from my breast. Six pounds, more than somebody's, uh, some of these children's sizes when they born. It's crazy, but it, it was a blessing because I needed it because I wasn't going to be able to run and jump and do things like with my kids, like I wanted to. And even if I didn't have kids, like there were certain things that I wanted to be able to do that I just couldn't do. You could not see me jumping rope like I used to or, you know, running and stuff. Like, that stuff, that was not my sport, <laughs> you know? Anyway. Now I can do those things, so It was truly a blessing. But... When I got those sutures um, taken off, I had to go back to them and see the doctor. Y'all, he was cutting those things, those sutures off of me or whatever. I saw pink on my nipple. (laughs) And you see, you see, I'm a brown skin, you know, brown skin girl. I'm one of them. So when I saw that pink, I just, I just fainted. I just went out. (laughs) I was out like a mother freaking light. (laughs) I I didn't come to until after he had already done what he had to do (laughs) and take them off and stuff. And I had to get used to um, them. I think I had to go without wearing a bra for a little while. um, So that, uh, that, could heal and I couldn't really go anywhere either but I had a little baby they cut my milk duds so I um I couldn't breastfeed my youngest daughter um they had to take quite a few um pounds and stuff from me and they had to resize my areolas um and and I have scars I have scars on the side underneath and um a little bit around my areolas now and uh so I, I I was very very conscious about that for a very long time 
I really, really was. And I didn't have any feeling in them for a good five years. I didn't get that sensation, you know, on them. But it came back. So, probably not as strong as it was. But, like, I can feel it when something's on my booby. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> um, so, I, I was very self-conscious for a very long time. So, I say that. To say, I'm free. I feel so blessed. I feel so beautiful. I feel so great. I feel stronger now that I've released those those insecurities. I, I feel way more confident. And that's part of the reason why I took that picture um, and I'm... Uh, I don't, if you are following me and you know that I do music, I got some videos of songs of mine, um, on the channel and I just finished this mixtape and it's a picture of me, um, in my bra and my, um, booty panty shorts, <laughs> my, my panty underwear things, because I, I love myself now. It took me a long time to feel com comfortable and confident, really, in my body. Like, like for real. So, um, yeah, for for that next person that, that needs that encouragement, know you're beautiful. You are a sexy bitch. You are a wonderful woman. And you deserve good quality people in your life that that meet your needs. And and you have a lot to offer as well and, and give people. So, you know, I just I had to um share that with you guys because I feel confident and cozy and um comfortable in my skin now I wasn't feeling that way before I started doing my YouTube uh my YouTube channel and my YouTube journey <sighs> like for real so um I just wanted to let y'all know that um this is me. This is a new me. I'm willing to wear more revealing things because I care about me. I love me. I'm a sexy bitch. And, you know, now I don't care what other people think like that. I used to care. Way too much about what other people thought of it, about me and pleasing other people. If you're one of those people, please get out of that sooner than later. So you don't have to go through all of that like me. Um, and so, yeah, check out my songs. Add them to like your little playlist or whatever that you have for YouTube or whatever. Um, there's some good songs. This project is pretty much over. Um, it's got a few, um, like it's got some ludicrous, a ludicrous remake, a lot of Chris Brown remakes. Um, over the next few days, you'll see that I did a Nina Simone song. I also did, um, I, I added one of my own songs to, uh, to it that I featured. I am dub 40, 405 and Cody Co on, um, and I'm going to have my first, well, not my first. This is going to be my <laughs> second album. I put an album out under a different um, stage name, but I decided to change my name to Tanya Prince. My name is Tanya. It always been that. That's my always been my first name, but people have a hard time saying Tanya. So, um, you know, they call me Tan. 
<laughs> if they can't get that. So, um, yeah, um, that's why I am Tam Prince and I'm <sighs> using my, my real name. It's my real name, my real body. I'm really who I am. And <laughs> it's, it's, it's feeling, I, I feel so free and, and gratified and I feel good. So anyways, um, that's my story. A reduction was in order because <laughs> now, like I asked him to take me down to a C cup, no, to a B cup. He said, make it a C. And then I said, okay, we can do C. And then it ended up, uh, they ended up growing to now I'm, I got a 34 double D. So, you know, my, my weight, anytime I have any weight gain or whatever, is going to go to my boobs. It just is. Um, so anyways, that's pretty much all I had to say in this video. Go ahead and like it and appreciate it and comment and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Why don't you share this with somebody that might be thinking about getting a reduction? So you just got to deal with those scars. They fade a little bit over time. If you choose to um, go down that far, because um, like I, I had to have been, I didn't. I don't know what the exact measurement was because I was wearing hand-me-down bras from like my old aunts and stuff like that. Those bras are so expensive. The bigger your boobs are, the bigger, the more they cost to support them bitches. <laughs> like, like, so, um, it, it was worth it. Um, I, I still have some pain that comes every now and then in them, but it's it's not that um, frequent. Um, but I did get my feeling back. So they said that I might not ever get my feeling back, but maybe some people do. So that was my breast, rest, uh, breast augmentation or um, reduction story. And... Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next one. Go ahead and like and love this. I love you. I'll see y'all later. Bye.